was a pretty special night. At first the sky was all clear. We could see many, many stars. And then halfway through the night it started to storm. It was raining pretty badly. We heard uh, fabric from the yurts going up and down. We woke up. Uh, it might have been three o'clock in the night. And then it got really, really cold. So I woke up at five as well. Um, but overall this is the best bed we had. I've slept pretty well. And hopefully uh, next night will be better. Breakfast. We're having warm fish. So this is calf's tongue. We have chicken and then two sorts of sausages. Breakfast was super nice. I love the pancakes. Now I'm gonna get ready for the hike. On the field was a youth building demonstration. Yurts are usually built within two hours. The traditional yurt is built with wood and bamboo as walls and covered with felt, usually from sheep's wool. Fun fact, at the top of the yurt, within the wooden structure, you'll see wooden beams crossing each other. The Kyrgyz flag is based on that symbol. After hitchhiking along with the yurt building course, it was time to get on the bus and start a hike. The wind is pretty loud here, so I'm voiceovering this. I'm trying to tell you how tough it is to walk uphill with a high altitude without dying. Luckily, the hike was definitely worth it. Look at this view. Halfway through the top, we stopped by the petroglyphs, carved in stone thousands of years ago. We do not know the meanings of the symbols, which could be religion, hunting, tribe science or something else entirely. Clearly visible are the goat petroglyphs. We picked up our pace again and walked to the top of the hill. That's our camp, I think. Or one more to the right, one of those. And then we're gonna walk to this top. I made it! The far stretching land was mesmerizing and considering this is a small lake I can't imagine how big the second lake will be where we are going in a few days, which is maybe 20 times this size. That's ours. We're gonna walk there now, it will take 35 minutes and we'll have to hurry a bit up because there's lots of rain in the air. A few hours later, the sun came back from behind the clouds and it was time for our horse riding adventure. I was pretty nervous about this because last time I rode a horse I was like maybe 9 years old, so it's been a while. Luckily I got a very nice and gentle horse, so everything was fine. riding it was really cool and we just drove on the side of the lake and it was nice we now had some time to relax but the storm was picking up again and it started to rain pretty badly there's a little bit of a problem over here oh no oh my gosh meanwhile in the dining area it's broken and now it's gonna rain inside it's already leaking pretty badly though. They fixed it. <laughs> As a starter, this time it's uh, mushroom soup. So it's finally something different, but also with potatoes. For the main dish, we're having rice with, uh, I think, carrot and some uh, beef meat. I don't know which animal. Later in the evening, the storm settled down and it was time to try to get some sleep. <laughs> 